dear students, uh, I am going to start another very important unit of concentration. Very important. That is called. Molarity of solution. Molarity of solutions. Very accurate. Very accurate. This is a, a unit of concentration. In many in industries, in the laboratories, industries. The solutions are prepared according to this molar solution, one molar solution, two molar solution. Sulfuric so acid is 18 molar solution concentrated. So molarity. So what's molarity? It is denoted by capital M. Capital M is for the molarity. Don't write small m, the difference. So what's molarity? Number of Moles of solute dissolve in one decimal cube or one thousand centimeter cube of Solution not solvent, not solvent, mind you. Number of moles of solute dissolved in one decimal cube of solution is called molarity. Now, I want to ask you one question you done in the chapter uh, number one. How we calculate moles and what are the moles? One chapter. I uh, only quite for uh, 20 seconds might you have to think about this. Moles. So I think you uh, uh, thought about this one. First I'm, I'm going to explain what are the moles. This is the number one. One chapter. Number of grams of solute divided by, or we can say, the mass mass in grams, mass in grams, or number of grams of solute. Divided by, you know what? Thinking molar mass of solid molar mass. Now uh, I'm not going to detail, but it is very important. I have to go back to the month because these things are very important if you mistake this is a mistake for the whole life. I write here molar mass. What is in the molar mass? Mass for one mole. This is means mass for one mole. Mean one mole means it may be, it may be atomic mass. It may be metallic mass. Suppose I want to uh, calculate the moles of carbon. 3 grams of carbon, suppose I am talking about. Then, mass in grams, 3 grams, and atomic mass of carbon is 12. So you have to write here the atomic mass of carbon, that is a 12 grams per mole. That's why I write atomic mass. It may be molecular mass. And it may be 
formula mass. These are the basic things students they uh, forgot. They right angle the means wrong right angle measure. Even in the board when they reach the uh, grade twelve secondary still they uh, mistake. Atomic mass come now here is a confusion for the students. Suppose I am giving you example, no problem. Uh, I am uh, away from this topic, but this is, this is very very important. Suppose I am writing this is the sodium chloride and this is the water. Atomic masses will be given in the examination, provided for you even in the board examination of uh, like this. This is the simple periodic table which is provided in the examination or we will give you these atomic masses. Sodium is 23. Atomic mass of sodium is 23 and chlorine is 35.5. So this is the 58.5. And write unit here AMU, atomic mass unit. And this is the water. Hydrogen is a 1 multiplied by 2, there is 16, there is 18. 18 AMU. Now, my question is, which is the molecular mass and which is the formula mass from them? Both. Think it, you don't integrate with the audience previous uh, first step I remember this one. Sodium chloride and water are both molecular masses? Are both formula masses? Or which one is the molecular mass and which one is the formula mass? So dear students, please listen very carefully. Uh, sodium chloride is an ionic compound. You done in the bonding chapter also. Very important chapter bonding, ionic bond, covalent bond. Ionic compounds. What? How? How identify that this is the ionic compound? Metal, non-metal. When metal and non-metal, sodium is alkali metal, chlorine is a hydrogen, metal, non-metal. Potassium chloride, metal, non-metal. Aluminium chloride, metal, non-metal. So metal and non-metal, this is the ionic compound. So their molar mass is called formula mass. The masses of ionic compounds are in the formula mass, form of formula mass. The reason because ionic compounds do not exist in molecules. Ionic compounds do not exist in molecules. That's why it's not a molecular mass. Water is molecular covalent compound. Why we say covalent compound? Both are non-metal. Hydrogen is non-metal, group number one, top. Oxygen is non-metal, group number six, top. Water is a covalent compound. So, I can say one thing about this. So, my advice is that if you know it is good, right here, formula mass if I write sodium chloride. Right here, molecular mass if I write water here. Right atomic mass, I have I write carbon, hydrogen, uh, copper, silver, gold, whatever. But it is preferable. There are no, no terms for the mistake. I write molar mass. Molar mass is common for all. Molar mass is common. Molar mass may be atomic mass, may be molecular mass, may be formula mass. Because mass of one mole of any substance, mass of chloride, mass of uh, water, mass of copper, mass of silver. But this is a very important I told you. You have to mind it please. Now I am coming to the original point here. So moles, mass of grams over molar masses. So there is no need for explanation again.
Now formula, I am going to write the formula of molarity. Molarity is denoted by capital M. So, mass in grams of solute divided by molar mass of solute multiplied by 1 over volume of solution in decimal cube. This is a very very important and in the definition is written one decimal cube. When centimeter cube is given you have to convert into decimal cube. Volume of solution in decimal cube or mass in gram divided by molar mass is called moles. Moles, yes. So the formula of molarity is number of moles of solute according to definition. Volume of solution. Volume of solution in this is the Q. So the both are same, no difference between both. You can use both formulas. It is just for the examiner, he has to calculate the number of modes molar will be provided and volume will be provided in the centimeter cube change into decimeter cube. He can ask what the mass of the solute, molar will be provided, compound will be given, atomic mass will be given, volume will be given. To calculate the mass. Here, volume can be asked from the examiner, number of moles will be provided, and mass molar will be provided for you. So, these are very, very important formula. Please write down in your copy with the highlights. You can use these even in grade 11. So, these are the very important formulas moles and these molarities. Now, uh, students. Uh, we have here example. We have many, many, many examples in your book. If you see the chapter number 6, 6.43 problems involving the modality of the solution. Now first I am going to solve this example. This is the uh, formula of urea, many ways to write, I can write this also in this form, like this. So this is the urea and question is, it is used as a fertilizer, a solution contains 40 grams of urea dissolved in 500 centimeter cube. So mass of urea is 40 grams. Mass of urea is 40 grams. Solute. And the volume of solution is 500 centimeter cube. Calculate the molarity of solution. Now before writing the formula to calculate molar uh, dear students, you have to calculate the molar mass of urea first. Molar mass of urea, uh, in the, again I went to go back to chapter number 1, you done how we calculate the uh, molecular mass, formula mass, we can say molar mass of the compounds. 
So this is the technique also how you calculate many students here this day. So I am going to calculate, see how I am going to calculate, right in this form or that form? It's your choice. Look here, I don't think mass will be provided, already I show you the periodic table may be provided in examination, but mostly I don't think mass is given in your question paper. First I mean it's nitrogen. Nitrogen. So write the atomic mass of the element first. Atomic mass. 14. Atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. And see where this compound. Is there any repetition? Is the nitrogen is again C1? Maybe. Yes, there is another nitrogen here. Two nitrogen. So, multiply by 2. If 1 multiply by 1. So that's why you don't mistake C Y. Well. This is a nitrogen and this is also nitrogen. So 14 atomic mass multiplied by 2. Then write plus sign. This is a plus sign. Then next element is carbon. Atomic mass of carbon is 12. And is there any other carbon? No. So multiply by 1. Then sign plus oxygen. Oxygen is 16. This is a 16. Only one. Multiply by one. Plus hydrogen. This is a hydrogen one. Atomic mass of hydrogen is one. But see two hydrogen atoms are here and two are here. Four. So multiply by four. Now this is the procedure. When you calculate the molar mass of any uh, compound, this is the procedure how to calculate. And dear students, when there is a numerical, when you apply the correct procedure for the calculation of molar mass, one mark will be awarded for you. Correct? If you other procedure is wrong, formula is wrong, answer is wrong, if you calculate, so the examiner must give one mark for this one. That's why this and, and this, this is the basic thing. If you can, if you calculate wrong this, you are also wrong automatically. So concentrate here. This should be correct. So now, uh, 14 multiplied by 2, 28. 12 multiplied by 1, 12. 16 multiplied by 1, 16. 1 multiplied by 1, 4, 4. So if you add all, this will be a 60. Answer 60. And why units are very important Why you are inserting the values in the formula. Units, proper units. Mass, gram, volume, maybe centimeter cube, maybe decimeter cube. So there is the unit. The unit of the molar mass is grams per mole. Don't forget why putting the molar mass in a formula must write grams per mole. So this is the molar mass. Now apply formula. Molarity is equal to mass in gram, mass in gram. If you if you see uh, the book, mass in gram, I wrote I, I uh, previous here. So mass in gram, that's 40 grams. Yes, write 40 grams here. Divided by molar mass. Molar mass is 60 grams per mole with the unit. 60 grams per mole. Multiply by 1 over volume of solution in decimal cube if you remember definition I told you. Volume of solution in decimal cube. So you have a centimeter cube here. So how, how I convert uh, into decimal cube? Uh, dear students, 1 decimal cube or 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube or 1000 milliliters. Mil. If you see uh, uh, tin packs, mil. Milliliters. 1000 milliliters. So, how I convert? Uh, you have to divide. 5,500 centimeter cube divided by 1,000. 
you will have 0.5 to write here 0 0.5 decimeter cube now calculate it if you calculate uh, your answer is 1.334 1.334 capital M. This is the unit molarity, capital M for the molarity. Our grams, grams cancel, moles per decimeter cube, which is called a molarity, capital M, moles per decimeter cube. Molarity. This is the boundary. This is the one way for calculating. One formula I use here. You can use other formula. So, see very well this. I'm going to drop, drop this one. Second way is using another formula which is given in your book. If you see the book, in the book, how can you calculate moles? Okay, no problem. I am going to calculate moles. First of all, calculate. Formula of mole is mass in gram or mole or mass. Same. Mass in grams over mole or mass 60 grams per mole. Yes. So, 40 or 60, the answer is 0.667 moles. 0.667. Moles of urea. After calculating moles, then the molarity is the formula of molarity is number of moles, number of moles divided by volume of solution in decimal cube that is a point five. Same. Both procedures are same, no difference. In the previous one, I used one for all, but here divided. First you calculate moles, then you calculate molarity. Both are correct. So 0.667 moles divided by 0.5, you will get the same answer, 1.3, 1.334. Now this is your answer, same. So you, you use the both. Both are correct. Now, there is a, another example. Calculating molarity from the moles of solute and volume of solution. Example 6.1, if you see your book. 
it is solid, shiny, solid, violet, dark pink, solid. It is. So we call uh, it is pinky. So bright color. So it is a disinfectant. And what the question asks? Uh, the solution contains 0 0.05 moles. So what's given here? Okay. Moles of potassium permanganate given. 0 0.05. 0 0.05 moles of potassium permanganate gives and uh, he say dissolve in 600 centimeter cube of solution volume. This moles of solute given and the volume of solution is given very simple. Use the definition of molarity, number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution. No need to calculate molar mass. Don't calculate it. Only use the formula. Molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in decimal cube. No need to calculate the molar mass because moles given and volume given, we don't use the molar mass. No. Just put the value. Number of moles 0 0.05 moles divided by volume 600 divided by 1000 you will get 0.6 decimal cube 0 0.6 decimal cube so divide by this 0.6 decimal cube if you divide uh, you will get the answer the answer is 0 0.083 0.083 M. This is your answer. Very simple. This is very simple. Apply the formula. This is example number 6.1. Now, maybe there are many uh, medicals are given. Just I will explain which are different. Now, if you see your book, self-assessment exercise 6.4, self-assessment exercise 6.4, potassium chlorate, white solid, which is used in the uh, math industries and dyes, calculate the molarity, and again the same which we saw here. 1.5 moles, moles given, volume 250 centimeter cube, divide this into the same, no need for doing this. B part, 75 grams of compound in potassium chloride, mass in gram is given, 1.25 decimeter cube, don't change, this is already decimeter cube, why we change, no need for changing. So apply the formula, mass in gram. Divide by molar mass, molar mass calculate, atomic mass is will be given, periodic table is given in your book. You have, you have to uh, see the molar masses. So, potassium chloride, molar mass, divided by uh, its molar mass and 1.25 decimal cube, you will get answer. What is the molarity of 50 centimeter cube? 0.25 grams. Mass is given again and volume is a 50 centimeter cube, divided by 1000, you will get the uh, decimal cube. This is also same. So please do this one. Self assessment. Do self assessment exercise number uh, six point four. 
and please uh, send to my WhatsApp uh, 6.4. Uh, do self assessment exercise 6.4 all the numerical theory to solve formula you know. Then there is uh, example 6.2. Covering the molecular solution due to its concentration, concentration in the grams per decimal cube. So here is Okay. Potassium per magnet scan. In the laboratory, how I prepare? This is the very important 0.25 molar solution. 0.25 molar solution in one decimeter cube of solution. So, uh, if the examiner asks you how you prepare this solution in the laboratory, <clears throat> this is the solid production per magnet. So, first of all, you have to calculate its molar mass. So, molar mass of production per magnet, I, I, I do it the uh, how I calculate production is 39 multiplied by 1, manganese is I think 56. And multiply by one. Oxygen is a sixteen multiplied by four. So please correct it uh, uh, in your product table. I have also this one. Then it is uh, this is yes fifty six. Oh, fifty fifty four point fifty five. Manganese is a fifty four point nine fifty five. So this is a 55 magnitude here. So calculate its molar mass first. So its molar mass is 100 58. Yes. If you cal if you calculate here, uh, what you have to do uh, when I calculate this one, mass of potassium per magnitude to calculate this one. How, how how many grams I take from the water? So I put the mass. So what is the formula? Molar mass multiply by molarity multiply by volume. So if you if you multiply by all, you will get the mass. Molar mass is one fifty eight. Maybe if you calculate mass in gram. Uh, you have to uh, calculate for this sum and volatility is given and volume one decimal cube is given then you have to calculate here so next inshallah we will continue